Kyle, many congratulations. I can see what this means to you. Very emotional right now. You've just come from the brink here at Alexandra Palace. Just try and sum up what you went through for that last hour. The last hour, mate. Look, the first, the first, let's say the first two sets, I would have been only about half an hour or maybe 25 minutes because he played brilliantly. I couldn't, no matter what I did, I couldn't shake him from the way he was playing. It was just so straightforward, 60, 140s. I mean, he, he was hitting things and setting up really. Me, the last, the last half hour that I played against him, in my mind, I weren't winning. As I said before, it's, it's a struggle for me lately because I, you know, I want to be home, but at the same time I know it's my profession, it's my job. And when it doesn't work out, it's, it's the demons that come forward. As Raymond said last night, you know, and when the demons show himself, it's, like it's quite hard not to see him every time you go for the board. When you're two sets down and a leg down, are you thinking, 24 hours and I'm back in the <laughs> I was thinking next flight, it's got me, yeah. yeah. I was thinking next flight, book me, I'll sit up back in the, in the cargo if I have to, they'll get me home. And be honest, because because it, it's not it's not that I quit, it's that everything I was trying and myself wasn't bringing it forward to get above the six year. You know, it's, it's a struggle when you're, I don't, I don't know when, when, it's hard to explain for us, because when you can't get your dart above the 60, you feel like in yourself that you can't get a 57 for your cover shot because you can't hit the, the target that you're always looking to hit every time you go to the board. Is this a year talking about what you said there, where you very much battled demons most of the year? Majority. Majority. I've, uh, I've contemplated going home a couple of times, Phil. It's just... This game has, I think, has caught up with me being away from home and the, the heartfelt emotion I have from inside and trying to be a man and not... And not I say not letting everyone see your emotion because you're trying to be a man in, in that sense. But it's starting to come forward and it's starting to control every day what I do. Because if I go to the shop, come home, I mean I went home for three weeks in October, went to the shop, came home, my son was there waiting. Now I went to the shop here, came back home, no one's there. So in my mind, I love the three weeks. Three weeks is the longest stretch I've had at home bar the, the visa incident when I was a couple of months. During the dark times this year then, have you thought about just packing up the sport and going home and just working normally again? Yeah. I've even spoke to a mate, I put a CV out and I've um, looked at it. I mean, I don't, I don't tell people about it because I was flying back in October. I went home for three weeks, as I said, in October. Um, got back on the flight, flew from Rockhampton to Brisbane and walked through customs, went and sat down in front of the gate. It's about a 10, 15 minute walk from the gate to the from security to the gate. And I sat down, I text Mac. I said, Mac, if I weren't through customs, I'd be having my resignation. It was just that me at that time was, I want to be home. It's hard. It, it's, it's, I don't last swear. Being away from your family, being away from your wife, being away from any sort of contact from family. You, know, like you can't go down the road and see your mum and say, oh, mum, how you going? Can I have some money? You, you can't do that. In my aspect, if I've got no money, then I've got no money. I've got no one to fall back on if my car breaks down, so I can't get picked up. It's just, it's, it's all of them things that you don't think about when you do it, and um, I don't know. I think it's just, with, with Damon coming across, that might change a little bit, because I've asked him to come stay by me so I can keep in touch, and, and me and Damon are best mates at school, and his wife Megan, we've already talked about maybe if we can get close together and just be like home. You've been over here for five years now, a long five years I know. Has this year finally caught up with you what you've had to sacrifice? Yeah, yeah, straightforward has. Yeah. No one on this tour has done what I've done. So no one on this tour understands what I go through. All respect to Luke Humphreys, with his anxiety that he had. No, I said I was, I gave him a shoulder to talk to, it was, it was all good. But what Luke went through, has got nothing of what I've And with me, I just keep it to myself because I've been brought up that way not to be, and not to talk about things like that because, not that it makes you feel weak, but your problems are your problems, not someone else's. So my mum, I ring up mum, I ring up dad, I ring up Bo, but at time difference, sometimes they'll say half eight my time, so it's two, three in the morning back home. I can't talk to that person that I want to at the time because there's no answer. Looking at 2020, is there a happy medium where you can spend X amount of time back home in Australia and st still be a full-time dark professional? Phil, that's hope. There's always hope. Yeah. Hope, hope, hope. I can't, can't, tell the, can't tell the future, I can tell the present, but I can't tell tomorrow. Look, mate, if I could, I'd do it from back and forth, back and forth. 
If I suddenly tomorrow win the Euro Millions, I'd be doing it back. You know what? I wouldn't even do it, to be honest, <laughs> because I'd go home and I'd just be catching up on time. The time I've spent here has been brilliant. I love it. Everything I do, I love it. But now I'm playing catch up. Not just with my wife, but with my son. And that's, that's the main thing. Moving on to the present, as you said, going back to darts. This is a real tournament where you can stand your throne and get the real Carl Anderson back because you've missed so many big tournaments this year. Steve beating up next. And I'm not being disrespectful to Steve, but this would be one of the seeds that you could attack. Yeah, no, me and Steve, um, it'll be our third meeting, yeah? One apiece. Um, look, yeah. you, you, you can't, I can't say I didn't, didn't check the draw. When it came out, when a draw came out, the first thing you do is you go bang, 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 bang. You see what ducks are in the row, and Steve Beaton's in the line. So I thought, you know what, if I can get past this, this kid tonight, today, Steve next. And as you say, it's all respect to Steve, love the guy. But it's, it, it's, it's one that you think, I've done it before on this stage, please go and let me do it again. One of the rare professionals that's won a PDC televised tournament. Can you get back to that level and how far away are you from that right now? Okay, I've started practicing again for the last two, three weeks. It showed in spurts in that game. The first start I was going in brilliant, but I just could not capitalise on that. If I start getting my group back, Phil, look mate, I don't know how far I can go, but I know I can go far. If my scoring comes back, and again, I'm not, I'm not talking out of my ass or anything like that, it's, if my scoring comes back, there's a couple of guys that can live my scoring. And it's just a matter of that coming back. I hope it wants to come back. I wish it would come back, but it's just a matter of if it comes back. Carl, it's an absolute pleasure picking your brain. Thank you very much. Cheers, for